Okay, uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, get into structure analysis. And we're just gonna get into how to do uh, really basic FEA analysis, so FEA, finite element analysis. And that's the basic uh, procedure for doing uh, structural analysis in software. So now we have our basic tower and uh, we're gonna start to analyze the uh, structure of the tower. And to do basic uh, structural um, performance analysis in Grasshopper, there's a really useful uh, library called Corumba. And Corumba is a library built on top of Grasshopper that does either one-dimensional FEA, so that's uh, calculating structure through rod elements, so it just takes a series of lines and calculates uh, the structure going through those lines. That's one-dimensional because every line just has one dimension for it to calculate structure. It also does basic two-dimensional structure and that's when it calculates loads through a, a mesh or a surface. Okay, so I'm not going to show that today, I'm just going to show rods. But you can also calculate, if you have a surface definition, you can calculate structure through that. All right, uh, so what I'm going to do here is uh, just an example. I'm going to use our uh, favorite parametric tower, um, this twisting tower. And I'm going to calculate uh, the structural loads going through um, some articulation, some structural articulation of this facade. And for that, I'm just going to use our triangulated mesh because it's already set up um, uh, just to do a really simple example. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my triangles. And I'm going to extract the mesh edges. So just type in edges and mesh edges. And then plug in our triangulated mesh into the mesh, mesh edges component. All right. So here we have all of our edges. And this component will output them all as lines. And this is exactly what we want. Because for geometry uh, into Corumba to do one dimensional analysis, we're going to just input a bunch of lines as our structural members. Okay, so uh, this mesh edges will export the edges uh, based on their valence. We don't have to worry about this. So we're just going to create a line node. And we're just going to combine all of these edges coming from the mesh edges node and then flatten them. All right, so now we have just a straight list of all of the edges in our mesh. The one thing to uh, realize here is that because all of these lines are defined as the edges of the mesh, we're going to have a lot of redundant lines. And when we start doing the analysis, we don't want overlapping lines. Like if this face had this edge and this other face has this edge also, they're on top of each other and that's going to screw up our analysis. Luckily, Caramba comes with some pretty useful utilities, uh, including uh, a utility to remove duplicates, both lines and points. So in this case, we're going to um, use this remove duplicate lines. Okay, and that can be found in utilities here within the Caramba uh, library node. So we can plug the lines into here and then you can see the output is fewer lines. So it's basically took 1,470 uh, lines, it's found all the duplicates, and then it outputs back 1,290 lines. So all these lines are unique. And now we can use those lines uh, to feed into our structural analysis. So now we can start talking about the setup of the analysis in general. If you go to the Corumba tab, it has a few categories. Uh, relating to different things, uh, different aspects of the simulation process. So everything Caramba does is simulate um, structural performance, but there's a few different properties or geometries that have to, or aspects that have to be defined before this analysis will run. Um, all the basic setup is in uh, this ensemble node. This ensemble will allow you to define uh, the structural model itself. Okay? So we have geometry in Grasshopper, but Caramba needs very specific information about what your structural assembly is. And that requires both geometry, but also requires things like material properties, um, the size of different members. If we input lines, it has to know what the dimension of those uh, members are. Uh, it involves also support points, so you have to tell it which points are fixed in space, and also loads. So those are the actual forces that we apply to our model. 
that's going to simulate. Okay, so the basic node we start with is this assemble model node. So if you create one of these, this is our basic assembly, and this is what all the analysis is going to be based on. You can see here we can import points. So those are points that Karamba can reference, either for supports or for loads. We can import elements. So those are our beams. Uh, support, load, cross-section defines the, um, the cross-section of each member, so it defines the actual thickness of the bars, material properties, and then other ways to reference the geometry within our assembly. Okay? And from this will come a structural model. And then all the analysis will be done on this model once Karamba has this whole assembly kind of wrapped up and defined for itself. Okay, so the typical way to start is to drag out one of these assembly uh, nodes, and then just to start specifying all these things to the extent that you want, okay? So uh, in, as a minimum, you need to specify at least a series of interconnected elements. You need to specify some supports, and you need to specify at least one load. These are optional, and they come with basic presets. Okay, so if you don't need to specify the material, it'll do a preset, which is something like steel. Okay, but these three are a minimum. Start. So the first thing we're going to do is specify the element, and those are going to be our beams. And we can't drag the lines directly into here. We need to first convert those lines into beam elements. And we do that within the ensemble node again. And Karamba has a few functions built in to create beams from lines, basically. Um, and what we're going to do here is line to beam, right? Pretty, pretty simple. It's going to take all the lines that we pass into it, and it's going to convert them to beams. In this case, also, uh, you're going to be faced with a, a bunch of different parameters. But um, just to start off, we don't need to worry about these things. We just pass the line into the line input and out from the elements are going to be our beams. So you can see that now this has become um, kind of converted to Karumbo logic. So here, uh, pass to the output of the node are beams, whatever that means. You know, like that's not a geometry that Grasshopper understands, but it's something that Karumbo understands. And once we have these lines converted to beam elements, we can pass elements into the elements of our ensemble. Okay, so that's a basic setup. And now, if we hover over the model, you can see that it's found 1,290 elements. Those are all our beams. And it's actually automatically figured out what the nodes are. The nodes are the connectivity between the beams. They're basically the endpoints or the points where all the lines come together. This is a basic assembly. Uh, this will not work for simulation yet because uh, all this geometry it just exists in space. And Karamba doesn't know anything about where the geometry is supported and what loads are applied to it. So that's the next um, thing we're going to specify.